Hi, in this video we're looking at something called endothermic and exothermic processes. They're both referring to heat transfer. Usually you have an endothermic or exothermic process, which could be some sort of phase change, um, but chemical reactions can be endothermic and exothermic too. In other words, if you mix some substances together and they produce products, sometimes they give off heat and sometimes they take in heat. And if they take in heat, we'd call that one thing. If they give off heat, we'd call it another thing. So let me start with this sentence here. All chemical reactions either release or absorb energy. And if they're releasing energy, we'd call that exothermic. Absorbing energy would be called endothermic. Here's another way to look at it. Very often in chemistry, we refer to something as a system. Uh, a system could be a beaker or the earth or the building I'm sitting in. It's whatever our focal point is. In an exothermic reaction, heat is given from the system to its surroundings. And its surroundings is just simply everything outside of the system. This is an exothermic reaction. An endothermic reaction is very similar. It's just the opposite direction of heat flow. You still have a system. You still have surroundings. But in an endothermic reaction, the system is absorbing heat energy from its surroundings. That's it. Now, one way that I uh, keep these straight is I think of exo as heat exiting, endo as heat entering. Uh, and that helps me to keep them straight. So let's play a quick little game. I'm going to show you a picture with a little description. Is it an endothermic or an exothermic process? Uh, hot hands. Hot hands are single-use hand warmers that are air activated. You can kind of see heat coming from this little packet here going into your hand. Now, be careful on this. The hot hand itself, this product, is the reaction system. The hand is part of the surroundings. So if heat is coming from the reaction system and going to its surroundings, this would be an exothermic reaction. Uh, for the next few, if you want, pause them read the little description at the bottom and see if you can figure out if something's endothermic or exothermic. Here's the next one, condensation. Uh, now condensation is a gas turning into a liquid. Gases have more energy than liquids do. And so in order for a gas to turn into a liquid, it would need to give off energy. It would need to give off heat and that cools it down, turns it into a liquid. And so that process, condensation, is exothermic. The substance has to give off heat in order to turn into a liquid. What about the process of making, oh my gosh, this looks so good, the process of making pizza bread. Now careful, I don't mean when you take the pizza bread out of the oven and it's warm and cooling down. That would be giving off heat. Uh, what about the process to make it though? We're baking the pizza bread. Is that endothermic or exothermic? Well, it's gotta be endothermic because you have to invest heat energy into that raw dough in order for it to, to actually bake. Here's another example, photosynthesis. What's up, biology? Plants use sunlight to make food. Is that taking in energy or giving it off? Well, in order to undergo the process of photosynthesis, you have to take in sunlight. And so that's an endothermic process. Last one here, melting ice cubes, going from a solid, solid water to liquid water. From solid to liquid, you'd have to invest, you'd have to absorb energy. So that's also going to be an endothermic process. So that's it. The difference between endothermic and exothermic, uh, it's subtle. It's, it's a release of heat versus an absorption of heat. And the two terms are really similar to each other. They mean the exact opposite of each other. Um, one thing that I, I kind of see commonly is students at the top of a test might write exo is exit, uh, endo is enter. Uh, and that can help keep things straight, um, but really what you have to know is that exothermic processes and reactions give off heat, endothermic processes or reactions take heat in. Thank you.